Shalom, Stop it. Get some help. Now, religion is a very important thing for a lot of people out there. A lot of people have been following their doctrine or their religious doctrine for basically their entire life. So they have a lot of interest within the people that follow those religions and it has a lot of respect for the people that actually believe in the things that they believe in. But as we all know, the internet, the place for degeneracy, would encourage streamers and people who just want clout and attention to use these people's passion, these people's religion, these people's doctrine and beliefs. Um, as a way to basically get people to follow them and subscribe to their ideologies and this all ladies and gentlemen started on the internet with the emergence of andrew tate well i think a lot of people who've been following me for a while understand that i've been mm. very respectful of islam for a long time yeah, sure. i was born in a christian country i was raised as a christian and i've always been very respectful of islam and it's become more and more obvious to me and and more and more pertinent that islam is the last religion mm. on the planet now, the more that went on, right, the more Andrew Taylor was more outspoken about Islam, which is not bad, guys. The people can state their beliefs on religion. And I think Andrew Tate pr did this pretty well. He didn't use the Islam card as his main calling card. This wasn't his main thing. He was just showing that Islam was the way he outlined his life or structured his beliefs, all right? But this obviously went on even to the Christian community. It wasn't just Islam. We had people like Young Dong Ray Born. I don't know if you guys know him. Same, but most people will not make it to heaven majority of people will not make it to heaven guys they will make it to the kingdom of heaven and i'm like majority of people call themselves christians right young dong was really out there trying to help his subscribers help the people that was with them actually just live better lives follow the christian doctrine that he was trying to preach and loki same thing with tate all right these two aren't the best humans on the planet but i don't see their attempt at religions and religious preachings on their platforms as a way to really gain clout and do some degenerate things all right and this again was proven by someone like jadeon jadeon was one of those streamers that actually started to put religion within his style of content and he did this in a pretty good way for what the internet is he actually regressed because of religion there's no christian in the right mind that can make the case to say that the content that i was making was of god pranking people is the same type of energy of a madman just going around killing people yeah man jadeon said all of that and went on to delete all his videos all his prank videos really great videos on his channel deleted all that lost a lot of money probably lost some subscribers but he didn't care he did this all for religion and for the thing he's believing and ladies and gentlemen that's where that stops all right because this next half of the video is just all about people using these things these religious preachings as a way to just gain clout basically this is where your fresh and fit come in okay this is where your sneak will come in people who just sit there and say they're a part of a religion and don't do any Anything to show that they were actually a part of that religion but, but then my question is why then did why didn't God predict this why didn't God say okay premarital sex is like worse for women than for men it's banned for both you're supposed to only now in Islam you can have four sure. wives but you're not supposed to go to the club and the hose I'm wondering if you guys have any what you guys feel about your faith where you feel so comfortable <laughs> preaching against the faiths that you purport to believe so in. First of all, these guys are somehow Muslims, right? These guys are, are following the Islamic doctrine. And I, I'm not going to sit here and say I know everything about the Islamic doctrine, but having a porn star right there, the, the Sterling Cooper who just walked out of the room, having a porn star right there and having OnlyFans girls, very promiscuous ladies on your platform, giving them attention, isn't really following any religious doctrine. Maybe I could be wrong. I don't think Islam's accept behaviors like this but let's continue you're questioning god i'm an atheist this isn't about me i'm talking for you <laughs> like i'm wondering it like just comparing like if there is any cognitive distance how you guys square that away that's just a genuine like question i'm curious with i'm not trying to get a gotcha well, yeah. i mean i can admit that there's a truth and it, there's one truth but at the same time i also understand that like i live in the real world and in the real world there's real issues that come up so the and bible I doesn't apply to the world anymore <laughs> hold on i'm not done okay sorry. and as a result i've chosen to live in the world i'd be out the world is it correct no but if i live in the world, oh, th th then why do you say you're you're doing religious shit bro you literally you say you're following the world the entire point of religion is to not follow the world and follow the word of god bro and you're you're following islam they have their doctrines that they follow bro you follow those doctrines if you say you follow islam you don't follow the world because that's the reality dog 
Jesus. In the world, I have to adapt to it. So that's my reality right now. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> Adaptation to the current sexual marketplace. Unfortunately, religion is not going to save you from the fuckery that's going on. <laughs> Women are um, see, this is why this video is very much needed. Okay, these people will say this about religion, right? Say that they're the biggest religious people out there. Get all the usually on the Fresh and Fit podcast and people like Sneeko, they try to target the Muslim community. Get the Muslim people behind them. People who follow the Islamic ways behind them. And just don't care about the actual religion. Which is just fucking dumb, bro. And now we're about to move on to Sneeko. And the, the problem with Sneeko, guys. Sneeko, he's not like fresh and fit. He doesn't just say he's Muslim, right? He also goes a step above. He sits there and says, Oh, because I'm Muslim, that means that Christianity is automatically worse than being a Muslim. He actually tries to compare the two religions. And we're also going to see how he tries to do this and attack Jadeon, even get into an argument with Jadeon about this whole situation. Let's talk about how their idea that they're the true religion is how much they're getting attacked right now. How much they're getting infiltrated by LGBT. How you see the drag queens and the churches and the, the Western woke, the, the Matrix basically has attacked Christianity so much. Christianity have a lot in common. I would say the major difference, there's some weird stuff in Catholicism. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. What the hell is the Holy Spirit? And then you go up and you take your first communion and you're eating the body of Christ in a cracker. So is this cannibalism? Why am I eating a no. cracker? What part of the body of Jesus is this? Is this the toe part of Jesus am I eating? Is it the butt? It's his body. Kids are drinking wine. Kids are getting drunk. It's the yeah. blood. It's wine. Why are we giving kids alcohol? And you're drinking Jesus' blood? It's a little satanic to be drinking a dude's blood. Tell me you know nothing about Christianity without telling me you know nothing about Christianity. Bro, this guy Sneeko is just a nuisance, bro. This man is just like a fucking problem on the internet that everybody have to deal with because he has made himself relevant because he did some cool things for like two, three years on the internet. Like Sneeko, bro, like you are actually my least favorite influencer out there. I fucking hate you, dog. Re respectfully, bro, you are just weird. And obviously this continue, ladies and gentlemen, this blasphemic way of talking about Christianity continue. The one reason I think Islam makes more sense in some ways is like the, the whole Holy Trinity thing in Christianity, yeah. like it's God been, is the Son and also the Son is God, but yeah. you know, human isn't perfect. That isn't, I understand like that debate, but also in Islam, if you're thinking strategically, not just with belief system, Islam is going to win. Uh, it, it's the only religion that does not tolerate any disrespect. Islam is okay. We're going to keep it on that fact right there. According to Sneeko, it's the only religion that doesn't tolerate any disrespect. And ladies and gentlemen, if you hear that right, you're going to be so pissed and you're probably going to hate this guy even more if you're Muslim um, <laughs> in the next couple of clips, all right? Because it doesn't get any better. He just talked about disrespect and went on to actually disrespect the religion that he talked so much shit about Christianity for. Oh my god, dog. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, when it comes to someone really abusing a religion, you call Sneeko's name first. That's why his picture was the biggest in this thumbnail, ladies and gentlemen. And this went on because obviously Sneeko cannot keep up with the actual doctrines of the Islamic religion. So, you know, he basically go on his stream and just complains about it. Alt is so hard without alcohol. Like, what do you do? Like, you're like a robot. Like, you don't do... Like, what, what am I supposed to do now? Like, how much stuff do I have to give up? Pork, fun, alcohol, women, gambling... <laughs> Muse about everything. I can't even invest my money. No, 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 to maintain these followers which just doesn't make any sense and he would say things like this on his stream right and then go and apologize to the islamic community when he starts losing followers slow bro you cannot joke about islam you can't joke about it it sucks man but 
Yeah, you, you can't, you can't, just certain things you just can't joke about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, basically, man, he go and freaking apologize, and I, I still don't know how this man still have fans, bro. I still don't know. When I talk about how dumb and crazy and abusive of religion this Nico guy is, he literally try to gain clout off of Jadeon because Jadeon actually is taking his transition of Christianity seriously, and he went on the Jadeon Twitch stream or or kick stream or whatever, and basically try to harass Jadeon again to a religious uh debate. <laughs> Jadeon even ended up blocking him because of this but somehow they ended up doing the debate and he just got clowned again this is how he hits up his friend my brother and you know what i'm gonna use the exact word sneeko used my brother how the fuck can jesus be a jew i say i don't know man just google it jesus being a jew literally makes no sense this is sneeko Jesus being a Jew literally makes no sense. The whole argument here, ladies and gentlemen, is that these streamers, these online personalities will say anything to get people who are in a defined space to follow them because those are the best followers. Those are the most loyal followers. If you're a religious person, it really shows that you have loyalty and you can really stick with a group if you find them interesting and you like them. And Sneeko, Fresh and Fit, maybe even Andrew Tate, these people, they look at that and, and take advantage of it, right? This is why when you say you are a Muslim on the internet, right? It's very, very easy to, to claim that religious card. You're not really challenged a lot on your beliefs on that. But the more and more things go on the internet, the more people are actually going to challenge these people that claim religious cards just for clout. So hopefully this video at least bring your attention to this part of the internet and these things that are actually going on right now, which is just disrespectful, first of all, to people that care about these religions, disrespectful to people who put their time to watch these guys and actually believe that they follow the religion, but are basically just saying that they follow the religion to make money off of it, man. It, it's, it's shameful. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Uh, mwah, that's your kiss. Bye.